I have a confession. I've never played any From Software game. When Bloodborne came out in 2015, I played it for a bit at my friend's house, but I got frustrated and gave up. Ever since then, I've avoided these games. They intimidated me. Even though I've been a gamer for a long time, I've never played a single one. That is, until now. Now, one of my favorite games of the past decade was Doom Eternal. I loved the fast-paced combat and the fair challenge that the game provided. Doom Eternal is hard at first, it's unrelenting and punishes you for making mistakes. Over time, I realized that every death had something to teach me. They were the results of poor decision making in the moment. Ever since Doom Eternal, I've been looking for another game that pushes me to be a better gamer. So I decided to finally give From Software a chance with Elden Ring. Without further ado, here are five lessons that Elden Ring taught me. Lesson 1. Humility. I've been gaming a long time, and I like to think I'm pretty good. I'm definitely not anywhere near the top leagues, but I usually play games on harder difficulties. My kill death ratio is decent, I get wins occasionally in battle royales, and I usually beat every game I play. I walked into Elden Ring cautiously optimistic in my abilities. I knew it was going to be hard, but I still wasn't ready. I didn't run headfirst into intimidating bosses right away or anything like that, but for the bosses I did fight in the beginning, I really thought I'd be able to take them on pretty easily. Oh boy, I was so wrong. The Erdtree Watchdog is not a difficult boss at all compared to some of the later ones, but I died so many times to this guy it made me rage quit. I was so embarrassed by these losses. It was in such contrast with my view of myself as a veteran gamer. I thought, if I'm dying to this guy, how am I ever going to beat the later bosses? I thought that I just sucked at the game. After taking some time to calm down, I realized that I hadn't been challenged by a game in so long that I wasn't used to facing failure. I had to learn how to be humble again. I wasn't going to defeat all the bosses in one try, and frustration wouldn't help me succeed. It's like in real life, you have to be challenged at just the right amount to where you feel like you can succeed, but you're not quite there yet. Psychologists call this the zone of proximal development, and it's the key to growing in any aspect in your life. To approach a challenge like this in the first place, I had to be humble. I had to accept the fact that I don't have all the answers, and I might fail a lot before I succeed. The first lesson that Elden Ring taught me is the importance of humility. Lesson 2. Patience. As I died over and over again to the Erd Tree Watchdog, my buddy was watching me and giving me tips. One thing that's painfully obvious now watching the footage after I've beaten the whole game is that I was extremely impatient. I wanted to take advantage of every single microsecond that the enemy wasn't attacking to deal damage. This worked alright for the small enemies roaming around Limgrave, but when it came to bosses, I got absolutely wrecked. I had to have patience, take the time to learn when to attack or not to attack. It's not like Doom Eternal where pure aggression can get you out of a tight spot, where your enemies give you health and ammo. If I ran into a boss expecting to take their health bar down quickly, I was bound to get wrecked. I had to take it slow and steady. But I also had to be patient in another way. I had to see failure as an opportunity to learn from my mistakes. Dying to a boss doesn't mean that you suck at video games, it just means that you made some mistakes that you can learn from and fix. When I changed my mindset to this more optimistic growth mindset, I stopped getting so frustrated. I started realizing that, oh, I should have timed that dodge better, or I should have waited to attack there, or oh, I should have managed my stamina better. I wanted to kill the boss so desperately that I was playing way too aggressively, seeking only the short-term damage instead of the long-term victory. When I started playing more slowly and tactically, the fights became so much easier. The sheer euphoria I felt when I finally defeated the Erd Tree Watchdog made all the frustration worth it. This is when the game really clicked for me, when I started to understand what these From Software games are all about. The cycle of exploration, discovery, frustration, then overcoming that frustration is very addicting, and it was my favorite aspect of Elden Ring. The second lesson that Elden Ring taught me is patience. Lesson 3 know when to walk away. This was one of the most challenging lessons the game taught me. Despite being humbled by the early bosses in the game, my victories against Margit, Godric, and Renala restored my pride in my abilities. It wasn't until I went to Kaelid for the first time that I learned the value of knowing when to walk away from a fight. This boss fight especially, the decaying Exikes, was really challenging for me. 
I had defeated a few dragons before, so I knew generally how the fight would go, but I wasn't prepared for the Scarlet Rot. I didn't have any means of getting rid of the status effect, so I just kept hitting my head against the wall, dying over and over again. I even got close to killing him a few times, and that made me feel like I could just do it if I just kept trying. But I was getting frustrated, and I finally decided that I just needed to walk away from the fight and come back when I was better prepared. I explored the world a bit more, learned how to craft preserving boluses, and learned the Flame Cleanse Me incantation to alleviate the Scarlet Rot. Now that I was better prepared, I came back to fight the dragon, and within a few tries I finally defeated him. I could have done the fight earlier, sure, but it would have cost me a lot of frustration and made me enjoy the fight less. I just wasn't ready yet. I had to walk away from the fight, which was painful because it made me feel like I was admitting defeat. But that wasn't really it. I wasn't surrendering. I was retreating to fight another day. This is one of the great things that makes Elden Ring so approachable to noobs like me. If you get stuck on a boss, you can just go somewhere else and come back when you're ready to take on the challenge. The third lesson that Elden Ring taught me was knowing when to walk away. Lesson 4. Open-mindedness. I'm a creature of habit. When I get into a playstyle, I typically only change it out of necessity. I like finding what works for me and sticking to it. Elden Ring is great because there are countless options for creating your own playstyle. You can use swords, axes, spears, shields, crossbows, magic staffs. The possibilities are endless. At the beginning, I preferred the straight sword because it was quick and easy to learn, and I stuck with it for a while until my buddy encouraged me to try weapons with status effects. First, I tried out the Morning Star as I explored the Weeping Peninsula, and I really liked it. But it had a really short range, so I soon started using the Highland Axe, and I did not stop. Seriously, I used this thing all the way through Stormvale Castle, all the way through Liurnia and the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, and even going into Caelid. I spent several smithing stones to level up the axe, which only made me feel further entrenched because I had invested so much into it that I didn't want to move on to another weapon. That was until I finally tried the Bloodhound's Fang. I'm aware that there are better weapons than this, but I did not care. From this point until the very end of the game, I used the Bloodhound's Fang on every fight. The only other weapons I tried out were Rivers of Blood and the Hand of Millennia. I had found my weapon, and it was so satisfying. Who knows what other amazing weapons I would have used if I had stayed open-minded. It's kind of a shame that I stuck to only a few weapons. I might have had an easier time on some bosses if I had tried other weapons, but I stubbornly stuck to my ways. On later playthroughs, I'll definitely experiment much more. And that's the most exciting thing to me about playing Elden Ring again in the future. The fourth lesson that Elden Ring taught me is open-mindedness. Lesson 5. Persistence. This was the most important and impactful lesson that Elden Ring taught me. In the past, I let my frustration get the better of me. I used to quit games that were too hard, blame the game, blame everything but myself. This game forced me to simply get good, and I loved it. The feeling of overcoming a fair challenge is something that this game did so well, and by the end, I was sad that it was over. Elden Ring has so many options for making the game more approachable to newcomers, from the open world design, to the summoning of spirits, to the sheer variety of choice and playstyle. But no matter what you choose, you will be pushed to get better. This game will take you and break you down so it can build you up again. I used to avoid this kind of pain, but now I relish the challenge. If you're truly stuck on a boss, go somewhere else, level up a few times and come back again. Try a different weapon or tactic, try summoning different spirits, take the fight slow, look for opportunities, and remember it's not a race. As a famous Asian clam harvester once said, In life, if you never take on a challenge, if you never risk failure, you'll never grow in your abilities. You have to take chances. You have to push yourself. Playing Elden Ring for the first time as a noob is a microcosm of the difficulties of life itself. That might be really cheesy, but that's how this game made me feel. It was inspiring. It made me evaluate how to better approach challenges in my real life, and that's amazing for just a video game. I'm glad that Elden Ring won Game of the Year in 2022. It deserved it, because this game transcends the confines of mere escapism. It taught me to be humble, have patience, know when to walk away, keep an open mind, and persist till the end. I'm so hyped for the Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC, and I'm excited to try out other games by From Software. Which one do you think I should play next? I'm thinking about Sekiro, but let me know in the comments. If you haven't tried Elden Ring yet, you absolutely should, because it's one of the best games I've played in years. If you're tired of modern games that don't treat you with respect, with their endless waypoints and hand-holding and microtransactions, if you want a fun and fair challenge in an immersive and beautiful world that's genuinely fun to explore, play Elden Ring. Please. It might just become one of your favorite games. I hope this video conveyed how much this game inspired me. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed and stay tuned for more fun gaming content. 
Follow me on Twitch at Hooded Beasts if you want to see me play more FromSoft games live. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out for now.